Today, I'll be previewing Railroad Inc. And since it's a preview, all I have to work with is this fine rule book here provided by Board Game Geek and Horrible Games. One to six players playing in 20 minutes and gives me a huge Carcassonne and Ticket to Ride feel. Honestly though, you're building roads and connecting them from A to B. While following specified pieces based off dice rolls to build networks on your play table. To summarize the gameplay, roll dice and draw down what the dice outcome is. It'll either be railroad routes or highway routes. Starting from the edge of the board, on these red spots, you will be designing your own railroad and highway networks. Most of the dices offer six sides, but there's one dice that's gonna have three sides doubled up. Their stations and their junctions and such, better, better dice rolls. And what the stations do is help you connect railways to highways and vice versa. There are also special tracks, which you can use only once and only once around. And keep in mind, you can only use up to three throughout the entire game of seven rounds. You'll score for every connected exit network. So from exit to exit, that'll be a score. You'll also be scoring for your longest railway, for your longest highway, and the nine, sir, the nine squares in the center of the play table will also be scoring if you used it. Now, I know this game has two versions, however, that is the base structure foundation of this game, and if you want a blue or orange slash red colorblind version, you can find it somewhere else. Now, I want this game very badly because I've been getting into uh, pencil and paper games, and because they're very exciting recently to me, and I do enjoy the blend of the two games I mentioned earlier, Ticket to Ride and Carcassonne. I think the balance of the specialty options plus the one dice that offers you stations really makes you more tactical about your moves and how you're gonna connect exits to exits. Scoring is also great because you have those nine blocks in the center, like is this the incentive for me to get more points or should I focus on making sure that all my networks are connected? And to be honest, you know I'm a big rule book buff and this game reads thoroughly from beginning to end with elaborate examples of how to play the game, making sure that you are never lost through the journey of words of a rule book. So huge kudos to the editor. Now, if this has helped you either one, learn how to play the game, two, make you want the game, or three, have a good time, go ahead and subscribe and like and um, tell me what you think of this video. Thank you.